Happy Sunday morning. We're at Universal Orlando, and I didn't bring my sunglasses. They're in the car, so I already feel like that was a mistake because it is the sunniest time. Right? Look at this. Look how sunny it is. Also, we fell asleep the second we got in the, in the stroller. So with this being our probably second to last time we're coming here, if yeah. we're just being honest, because it's near impossible to come during the week. Yeah. I think we get some voodoo on the way out. What do you think? Can you see my jaw drop? <laughs> It's that special time of year where there's nothing hanging here and it's just good old fashioned Universal Studios magic. I thought James was actually going to be awake. <laughs> this is only his second time and he was awake all day. Yeah. But now that he fell asleep, he really didn't nap at all today and it's 4.40. Yeah. He probably will sleep the whole time we're here because it's only open until 7. Yeah. But that's all right. Yeah, it's okay. We're it's a good back. place to take a nap. It's a bigger day. Maybe yeah. the beaches will come with. I don't know. Yeah. Mardi Gras starts soon. Homer is causing a ruckus. <laughs> that was <laughs> Peter freaking out about Christmas. This is my favorite store in Universal and maybe my favorite theme park store because I love props and things from movies and events. There used to be a shop like this in Hollywood Studios. It's actually called SIDS. It's still there, the actual building at the front of Hollywood Studios at Walt Disney World. And that was my favorite. It had like all different autographs and just so many different things from different Disney movies. And there also used to be a shop at Downtown Disney on West Side too. I just love behind the scenes and props like this. I love this store. So the lagoon is kind of drained a bit and you can see all the jets. Oh no, it woke up Daisy. Okay, we're good. He's back asleep. Oh my gosh. He got so startled. We got a 30 minute for escape from Gringotts. So we're gonna do baby swap for this one. Really low key, they said is when I'm done to tell them and then they'll um, they'll give me a pass for Peter to come back on. I've never been in this part of the queue because it's all social distance. We plan on this being our only attraction for the evening, but truly you can't beat 30 minutes for Gringotts. Globus Monday. I love Diagon Alley. Ron's Bugger Globovich. So I'm heading out with James while Sarah goes and waits in the queue. I tell you, Universal, they do the rest of their theming for any more expansions, refurbs, or new areas like they did Diagon. Disney's got something to be scared of because when you compare the last couple of additions and renos and everything that Universal's done compared to Disney, I think Universal's got them beat. I do. Just my honest opinion. Come on, this theming right here, it's incredible. There's so many different, they could have done a repeating advertisement, but they didn't. And this isn't just a, sorry we're closed. It's a proclamation from the ministry decree. Look at that. Let alone just everything. Or like the subtle tease of the brickwork. James almost just crashed into the wall, but he's still out. I'm staying on this like smooth tile compared to the cobblestone. It's a little too intense for the cobblestone. I mean, come on, with the sun setting, like the, the last of the golden hour hitting the buildings underneath the train? I just texted the Petruses and my buddy Steven told them how 
uh, coming here does make me like sad and extra nervous about leaving because this has just got extra special vibes because we don't come here all the time outside of like Halloween and HHN. But also because I don't know how often we're going to come here. If we come down to Florida to visit for less than a week and a half, we probably won't come to Universal. If we come at least two weeks, which I hope is like the standard of us coming down, then I can see us coming here, you know, two days. Um, I just, I don't know. And that's what makes me extra nervous about being here and being like, I'm going to miss it so much, but we're going to come back right now. Go directly to the office at the end of the corridor. From there, you will be escorted to the vaults. Alright, I'm in line. For the hopping pot, I'm gonna grab a frozen butterbeer to share between Sarah and myself since she's about to get on the ride. I figure by the time I get in line, get it, walk over, she might be getting off and we'll swap butterbeer and baby. Sarah's gonna freak. They had hot butterbeer still. I thought it was just a holiday special and it wasn't on the menu, but they still have it. I'm nervous, it's gonna burn my mouth, but first time ever having hot butterbeer. Smells like Christmas. I'm ready for it already. The foam on top is cold, and the butterbeer is hot, and if you drink it through it, it is so much better than any of the other frozen and regular butterbeers. I would order this on a hot summer June or July or August day. Ooh. Hot? Hot. Be careful drinking it, but it's so good. Where did you find it? At the hopping pot. It's just not on the menu. When I got there, I was like, you don't by chance have... The warm butterbeer, do you? And they're like, yeah, we still have it. It's in back. I don't think I have it before today either. It's real hot, but it drink it through the foam. It's the best butterbeer I've ever had. All right, so here's what the child stuff for Universal looks like. They're giving this pass, and they're gonna scan it. Well, that was easy. Super easy. Serve into the washroom, but this right here. If you're an HHN goer, you know. You know right here, these two paths. You just know. Right next to the Men in Black gift shop. You know, HHN goers. You know. I want it back. This sky the past couple of days has been so beautiful. I feel like it is Florida's like last like stitch effort to look get us winter. to stay. No, like, look at the sky. Oh, look how beautiful it is, just stay. How can you move away from me? You gotta see this, it's like cotton candy. Well, so beautiful. Florida sunset. We're gonna mobile order some donuts on our way out. Hanging out by Jimmy Fallon. I don't know what I want. Do I want vegan or none? I think either way, it's delicious. The music here is top notch. Yeah, it truly is. Maybe what? you want to go home and watch Harry Potter. What did you, what, what did you get? It's a surprise. At this moment, you need everything. It's Jamie's please first. Come on, Eileen. Got the goods. Oh. Baby. I forgot, I did not get an ODB. You didn't? No. I thought we got the same thing. I got the mocha thing. Mocha. And then I got a ring of fire, which has cayenne pepper on it. Ooh, and then I got the ODB, which is just Oreos and peanut butter deliciousness. A part of your Oreo drop, so it's free game. Oh, gosh. Surprise! We're home. Um, we had to come home. James woke up very hungry in the car, and he couldn't eat in the car. So he was very upset, so we had to come home. So I'm just going to go solo to Target to pick up a quick few things to last us the week. Um, and Sarah's going to make some veggie tacos? Is that what it was? Veggie tacos for dinner. Mm -hmm. 
one of my favorite things is to have Eve hear that scene because her ears go crazy. Yeah. That's who you're named after. And if you didn't know what movie, it's Wally. Yeah, I got my primo parking spot for Target. Booyah. Most successful and efficient and not extra purchasing gifts I've ever like should have ever done to Target. So it is already at nine o'clock, but I am going to still cook us dinner. And that calls for a super simple recipe that I want to share with you guys. So the main part of the meal is the veggie tacos. I just chopped up some potatoes, squash, and zucchini. Tossed it in a bowl with some oil, hot sauce, salt, pepper, garlic. I probably would use cumin or other spices um, typically, but we're kind of we're kind of running low on some of our spices. So we're just going to go with this. I'm going to throw it in the air fryer for eight minutes, shake it up, and then do another eight minutes in the air fryer. And then for the side dish, I am making some tomato rice. So I did a full can of diced tomatoes, and then I filled this can up with water. That is boiling now, so I'm going to put a can's worth of rice in it. So in with the diced tomatoes, I also added a splash of olive oil, minced garlic, and then red pepper flakes. So the rice is just going to cook directly in that. Cook it just like you, like prepare it like you would rice normally, but instead of just water for the liquid, you are using the diced tomatoes. Um, just kind of spunks up your rice a little bit more. We have been using the Max Crisp option on our air fryer. So there it goes for eight minutes. And then after the eight minutes, I'll shake it up, put it back in probably for another eight minutes. Kind of depends on how crispy and brown everything is looking. So really the thing that takes the longest is the chopping of the veggies. Um, but otherwise it's just like preparing the rice, which typically is between 15 and 20 minutes and then the 15-ish minutes for the air frying of the veggies. If you don't have an air fryer, you can always bake your veggies or fry them up in a pan. Obviously the time changes then, but going to be super flavorful meal still, but super simple. Obviously this is plant-based. You can add in other ingredients if you like. Also to spunk up your tacos, you can add in sour cream or cheese. We're going to be adding some salsa verde and probably some lime juice, um, hot sauce, that sort of thing. So yeah, just a quick veggie taco and rice meal that will be done in less than a half hour. And here it is. Easy peasy. He started doing this thing where he like smiles at himself in the mirror. It's a clean baby. <laughs> He's shy. He's also been shy. Today. He has been. He's been shy to the camera mostly. Hey. A big oh. yawn. A big yawn. A big yawn. Oh. I'm not a homeowner. I rent. But it's so satisfying when you do stuff like fix the clog drain with Drano. So nice. Sarah sheds hair. Huge problem on the drains. And I know I could have just called the landlord, but like to me, $8 is worth my time and concern about having some stranger come by, not stranger, but the maintenance man come by, wait our schedule around him to come by and do it himself. I'll pay eight bucks and I'll just drain it with myself. And it's draining perfect. All right, today's message by Tom Hiddleston. I gotta do this before the battery dies. We all have two lives. The second one starts when we realize that we only have one. Ooh. And with that, we only have four full weekends left. Oh my goodness. We did just make some reservations for some dining before we go. We're technically doing four table services now before we leave. Yeah, that'll be great. Our final hurrahs. Last little kickoff. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.